I mean, it says it's an under eye concealer, but well, you know, I've just applied it on my lips. So. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a BB cream as a foundation. So I'm gonna go through everything with you in this video, so stay tuned. And if you do like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And you can catch me over on Instagram where you can watch my stories for some daily beauty news, PR unboxing, and just generally what I get up to in a day. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so I don't have any makeup on. The only thing I have on is my skincare. And you'll have to excuse my hair. I just washed my hair this morning and I didn't really want to kind of straighten it. I just thought I'd let it dry and just put bits back, you know, so I don't actually know whether this looks okay, but you know, this is not about hair. This is just about makeup. So let's move forward. Now this video is all about how to use BB cream as a foundation. So how to get a really nice finish with that. So I wanna kind of apply some concealer first just to my eyelids because obviously I need to cover the dark circles. So I'm using, this is the Benefit Boing Bright On Concealer. And I'm just gonna apply this all over. And I'm just gonna blend this in. Now I know that if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that most of the time I use the Tarte Shape Tape. And if you're wondering why I'm not today, it's just because I just want to try out different products, you know? So I thought I'd try this one out. The coverage isn't as good as the Tarte Shape Tape, obviously, but this is more about brightness. It's an, I mean, it says it's an under eye concealer, but well, you know, I've just applied it on my lips. So we're gonna apply it on the under eye area as well. So I'm gonna just set this. I'm gonna use my Huda Easy Bake and I'm just gonna press this in. This is banana bread. I'd say this concealer is probably good for like, you know, like daytime kind of everyday makeup. It's quite a good shade though. Like once you put the banana powder on, it's actually quite, quite nice. It's not too white. Okay, next up, I'm just gonna apply some of this to my under eyes. And honestly, I just want some coverage here. Like the BB cream on its own is just not gonna cut it. So this definitely isn't as, you know, isn't as good coverage as a Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna use my BB cream. Now, if you don't understand what BB cream is, it's basically, it was initially developed. It's, you can either call it like a beauty balm or a blemish balm. And it was initially developed to, for people who, you know, maybe have had a skin peel or like some kind of intense skin treatment and they need to use, you know, they wanna use a foundation after, but a foundation just isn't good for their skin. You know, they, this skin is extremely sensitive after a treatment. So that's where they would use BB cream because it's just kinder to your skin. So you get that light coverage, a little bit of coverage, and it kind of blurs some imperfections and blurs some uh, blemishes, but it's kind to your skin. So I recently, when I was in New York, I picked out the one size BBB cream and I have tried this and I wanted to show you what it's like on so let's see now this is the beauty blur balm so let me just read out what it says so it applies as whipped cream to hydrate and smooth skin with avocado and mango butters. Transforms to meringue texture to blur skin and control oil with white rose stem cells. It dries down to a velvety marshmallow finish for seamless tinted coverage with skin-like treated pigments. Texture be gone. So it's, a, it's especially good for textured skin. It gives like a flawless soft matte finish from what it says, right? Now it comes in a tube, so it's like this and it has one of those like flip lids, which I find really annoying because, you know, it just collects here and then it gets dirty. So yeah, but anyway, that's just a personal thing. What I wanna do is apply this to, to the back of my hand. Before I do that, 
I want you guys to have a look at how I picked out my shade. So, because I know that a lot of you are probably thinking, well, how do I pick the right shade? There are so many shades in this range, by the way. So it can be a bit daunting for any anyone looking at so many shades. So I want you to just take a look at this clip where I actually show you how I picked out my shade in Sephora when I was in New York recently. Okay, so this is the kind of, well, it's called a BBB cream. It's a beauty blur balm. I've seen that the coverage is absolutely insane. I'm kind of like looking at the selection here and I already kind of know I'm here, right? So this is when I talk to you guys about picking your color. Like I already know I'm here and that's just because anyone is gonna really know what their skin color is. But ultimately, you know that you're brown or you know that you're slightly golden. You know, you know to the eye what it looks like. So I know this is too dark for me. This is way too pale for me. So I know I'm here, right? Now this one here, if you're a bit confused, let's pick a about this this section here right I know that's way too dark for me I know I can just tell I know that's dark there's a certain amount of trust you have to have in yourself people need to seriously just be a bit you know clean this could be a little bit dark on me as well it's like a medium dark too I do think that is gonna still be dark on me so I think I'm leaning towards this maybe and I'm just gonna like put a little bit here see that's looking like it's a bit better right I know anything darker than that is gonna be too dark for me so that was, that was a medium dark one. Now let's go to medium three. This is medium two. I think that might be, oh, that looks a bit too pink for me. Right, okay, you know how I always say to you guys, like again, I did a video recently on foundation color and I noticed that on camera, it does look a little, on the TV, I was watching it back on TV and it looked a little bit different. So I'm just gonna explain to you how this looks to me. That looks a bit too dark for me. That looks about the right shade for me. Bear in mind that I bronze a lot, so I'm not too fussed if this is a tiny, tiny bit too light for me because I can bronze it up. This looks too pink, this is definitely too pink. This has got a nice kind of golden undertone to it. That looks like it's my shade. So do you see what I mean? Find your slot, narrow it down. You know you've got all these colors, right? It can be a bit overwhelming, I totally get it. You know you're not that, you know you're not that, so you know you're somewhere here, right? You've already narrowed it down, that's half the work done. Then you're gonna pick out the right shade out of that. So you can just swatch them, narrow it down. You know that's not gonna match you, That you know that's too pink. Take it out, I know that that's kind of the right color. So don't overcomplicate it for yourself, you know? Like just be a bit more kind of, just have a bit of faith in yourself. This kind of looks like the right shade for me. Now, what I really want to do is kind of like try this a bit. Um, and let's see, I'm going to hold this up. Yeah. Now, just to be safe, I'm going to try that darker one because you never know, but I am very tanned at the moment. No, I still think that middle one is gonna be one of these two. I think that might end up looking too gray on me. It's not brightening. Basically, I can tell that's not brightening. That actually matches my skin pretty good. The one that I said maybe a bit too dark. The problem is, like I said, it's not brightening and I want to look bright. I wanna look white, I wanna look bright. That will give me that brightness and is the same kind of undertone. So I'm happy with that one. So it's medium three. The one that we're happy with yeah medium three <sighs> medium three please tell me you're here ah there you go i didn't even know that it actually told you the undertones medium three medium golden undertones see what i mean i didn't even know that there were like there were undertones written on the box and just from Kind of maybe do that guys because it might actually help you from just just trying to understand like without actually reading what's on the package sometimes that can be a little bit too confusing and then figure it out for yourself and then you kind of like see yourself that actually you know you got it right okay so there you go you can see how i picked out that shade and hopefully that kind of made it a little bit easier for you to figure out how to shop your shade when you're in sephora or ulta wherever you are because this isn't the case just for bbb cream BBB, BB creams. This is the case for foundations in general. So hopefully that kind of made it a lot easier for you. Now, I just want to apply some of this on the back of my hand. There you go. And let me just clean this because I hate messy makeup. 
Okay, I'm gonna apply this with a sponge and all I'm doing is getting my beauty blender. This beauty blender is kind of damp. You know, it's, it, I wet it yesterday, so it's still kind of like, it's shrunk a little bit, but it is, I can feel it's still a little bit damp. So what I'm gonna do is just start buffing this into my skin. You can use a brush if you want, and if you do, I'd work from the center outwards. You know, I wanted to show you how you can wear it as a foundation. So you can obviously kind of pair it up with your concealer, and you know that I've applied my concealer on the areas that I felt that I needed it. Now we're gonna go over that under eye area, right here. And that's gonna like fuse the concealer and BB cream together. And at the end of the day, this is gonna give you a very natural finish. So it isn't something that's, you know, don't go for this if you're looking for like a full coverage look, which is kind of also why I used a concealer that wasn't full coverage, because it just would look really weird if I had full coverage on the under eye area and then, you know, everywhere else it's very natural. And I tell you what I do like about this, is it goes a long way. It doesn't just disappear into the skin. And I do really like, like the finish of this. Like, I really like how my skin looks with this on. And what I do like about BB creams is that, you know, it's good for your skin. Obviously, you, you know, I read out all the ingredients in here, but it, it is like, your skin still looks like skin, you know? It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like there's just too much going on. It's still like, even if I went out with just a little bit of gloss on and maybe did my brows, it would still look good. So I like the finish that this, that this gives. I like how you've got that really nice kind of almost demi matte finish to it. Now what I wanna do very quickly is just kind of set my under eyes. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime perfection blurring under eye powder in yellow now i'm just going to make sure there are no creases so i'm just going to get my sponge get rid of any creases and all i'm doing is pressing this in with my real techniques setting brush i've recently started using this powder for natural looks and i really do like it but i do sometimes go on other areas because i feel like you can don't think just because it says under eye, that's the only place that you have, you have to use it. Just on other, just little areas there, that's enough. So you, can you see how like, I I just really do like this because I feel like and this powder paired with it is great because I feel like it does look natural and let me just fill in my brows just a little bit so you guys can see. I've got my um, nano blading touch up next week. So do you remember one of my first videos? It was like I had really dark brows because I just went and got my nano blading done. So it looked really, really dark. And I had to like, just basically tell you at the beginning of the video. So my brows are gonna end up looking really dark just for a couple of weeks. And then they're gonna settle down because can you can see it's fading. So what I'm doing is just kind of like drawing in some hairs. I just want you to see with the brows done, you know, like where, sometimes it's really hard to see what a look looks like when you haven't actually finished the rest of the face. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of my Dior Lip Maximizer. This is the shade oh, 012, by the way. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my lip pencil. This is the Huda Lip Contour in Sandy Beige. I just usually blot and then just kind of like drag inwards so i'm not drawing i'm feathering in and just so you can see a little bit of color on the cheeks i'm going to use the rare beauty liquid blush in bliss i'm just getting a sponge and just blending that in I'm gonna get my Huda Tan Tour and I'm gonna do this with a, I think I'll do it with a brush. So I'm gonna use my, what brush is this? The Fenty 120 brush. And I'm just literally dabbing it into this. This is just gonna give me a bit of sculpting. Because it's a soft brush, it's, it just kind of diffuses the color. And I like the fact that you can still see 
certain blemishes well it's not really blemishes it's like dark spots like freckles that i've got but i feel like it just makes the skin look very real but that is how i use a bb cream as a foundation so you can see how we've got that little bit of coverage and i've managed to actually complete the look with a few extra bits just so that you can see and it's just a natural look but at the same time you've got a tiny bit of coverage but also you know that whatever you're using as a bb cream generally is kind out to your skin and it's not bad for your skin you know you know that there's something there which is kind of like looking after your skin as well a little bit too so yeah that is my version of using a bb cream as a foundation i hope that has given you a better indication as to how you can use a bb cream what it is and whether it's something for you now if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video take care and i'll see you soon